But back at the observatory, it was hard to stay awake. And at a certain point, I found myself wondering, why is it that you need to be physically here, as opposed to, you have this amazing software, it detects these images, you come in tomorrow morning and you say, that's real, that's not real, that's real, that's not real. The turnaround time on the data is critical. Because those four images, they only show a tiny little piece of an asteroid's path. So if you waited until the morning, you'd probably lose it. If you don't continue to track that object and publish it immediately, it literally can get lost. So when you find something, you immediately send it to what's called the Minor Planet Center to check if someone else has already found it. And if it's a new object, other telescopes around the world lock onto its position to help build out its orbital path for the foreseeable future. This is all public. Anybody with a telescope can help. And we'd all need to help if anyone found anything big enough. The observers are still staring at that moving speck of light. Something that bright is likely an object we know about already. So they report it to the Minor Planet Center. And normally, they'd be hoping to make a new discovery. But today, they're just hoping their suspicion is wrong. And as soon as the report comes back, the whole team goes silent. No one's ever seen this thing before. It's a new asteroid. And it's big. You can we narrate the end of our species? Astronomers around the world spring into action. They need to know how big and what it's made of. And most importantly, will it hit us? How will they know what it's made of from their telescopes? You're about to find out. Leo, you've thought of everything. <laughs> Breaking news. Reports of a new asteroid. Concerning news stuff. emerging. A new report just in. Scientists are warning. There are rumors of an asteroid. Of Scientists are still verifying. Or what level of public is it. beginning to wonder. Are we in danger? The new asteroid gets its official name, 2034 LV-1. But as news spread, astronomers nickname it Soteria, after the Greek goddess of safety. 